I still remember the day I stumbled upon the listing for Hawthorne Cottage on Airbnb. Its old world charm, nestled deep within the woods, promised a perfect weekend getaway. Little did I know, that innocent decision would plunge me into a nightmare I'd never forget. Arriving at dusk, the fading light cast eerie shadows across the timely facade. As I stepped inside, a shiver ran down my spine. The air felt thick, like a palpable presence watched me. Ignoring my unease, I unpacked and settled in. Nightfall brought a chorus of unsettling sounds, a faint whispering breeze, floorboards creaking in rhythm to some unseen entity's footsteps. Each room seemed colder than the last, and the flickering lights played tricks on my senses. The antique mirror in the hallway reflected distorted images that sent shivers down my spine. I had barely drifted into a restless sleep when a loud crash jolted me awake. Heart pounding, I followed the noise to the kitchen. The sight that greeted me froze my blood. All the cabinets had swung open, their contents strewn across the floor. Panic set in as I realized I was alone in this remote cottage, with no logical explanation for the chaos before me. The next day, I ventured into town seeking solace in human interaction. The locals' hushed whispers told stories of Hawthorne Cottage's dark history, a place once owned by a reclusive family with a tragic past. A chill ran down my spine as I learned about their untimely deaths and rumored connection to the occult. Returning to the cottage, I couldn't shake the feeling of Hi being guys, watched. Hi guys, thank you so much for watching. The walls and seemed to like whisper secrets, sounds, please and shadows sure like danced at the corners of my vision. See you in the next video. Determined Bye. to uncover the truth, I delved into old books, desperate to understand the enigma that was Hawthorne Cottage. Night after night, I experienced restless dreams, vivid nightmares that blurred the line between reality and the supernatural. The walls pulsed with a malevolent energy, and I could almost hear the faint echoes of anguished cries. The more I uncovered, the more I felt myself being pulled into a web of terror. One evening, a storm raged outside, and the power went out. Armed with only a candle, I wandered the dimly lit halls. My heart stopped as I saw a figure, shadowy, ethereal, standing at the end of the corridor. Fear clung to me like a vice as the figure glided closer, its eyes locking onto mine with an otherworldly intensity. Frozen in terror, I could do nothing as it whispered words I couldn't comprehend. The air grew colder, and I felt a presence enveloping me, suffocating me. Desperation and dread swirled within me, and with all my might, I managed to break free from its grasp and stumbled back into my room. The following morning, I packed my bags, my mind determined to escape the malevolence that had consumed Hawthorne Cottage. As I drove away, a haunting feeling lingered, and I couldn't shake the idea that I had narrowly escaped something far more sinister than I could fathom. To this day, I shudder at the memories of that weekend, an experience that forever changed my perception of the world. The scars left by Hawthorne Cottage's dark secrets are etched into my mind, a chilling reminder that some mysteries are better left buried in the shadows.